for me, it was finally making that switch of, of doing the things that I'm doing today, not for what I get today, but what I get five years from now, 10 years from now. That was probably the biggest change uh, for me this year. And that was really just a mental change that I had to go through. Uh, and quite frankly, that meant, um, you know, on the income side, you know, this year I've, I've had four years of just insanely increasing um, income. And this year I made about the same as I did last year. Uh, so there wasn't like a big jump for me. Um, now there's a, a big difference in the fact that I became a you know, part owner uh, in our agency, things like that. But as far as the amount of money that came into my pocket, I probably got less money in my pocket, in my bank account this year than last year. But again, it was that mental switch towards the long-term vision from the short-term vision. It's very short-term to think, okay, what got deposited in, in my account today or, or tomorrow on Friday versus what am I building and what is that worth now a year from now, three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. So it was making that switch and that's not easy. Another aspect of intent is just not allowing life to happen to you, yeah. but you attacking life and taking ownership and understanding that you're exactly where you are right now. For those watching, you're exactly yeah. where you are right this second, good, bad, or indifferent. And it's all on you. Like it's all your fault. It's all based on the things you've done. Yeah. And taking that ownership and saying, okay, now that I know that, and that's me that got myself here, I can get myself to wherever in the world I want to go. But I have to figure out what my intent is on the front end. Yeah. yeah. Um, to be able to guide me in the right direction so that I can do things on purpose, but that there's purpose behind it. Yeah. So the easy thing to do, the more comfortable thing to do would have been to left, you know, Monday morning, Monday, early afternoon, get to where I'm gonna be training this week and have time to get ready for the next day. But instead I leave at night. And what does that do for me? That gives me the opportunity to get into the office on Monday, get all the different projects that I have going on, uh, completed, but more importantly, it gives me hour, hour and a half uh, to spend with my daughter at home and have that time with her before I have to leave again for another couple of days. And so life is all about choices. It's all about sacrifices. What am I sacrificing? I'm sacrificing sleep, I'm sacrificing comfort, but what is the reward for that sacrifice? It's getting to spend time with my family. It's getting the other things that I need to get done completed in order to go all in, in all areas. And that is what I am all about. And that is what I intend to do. So it's 2.11 in the morning. I've got an hour drive. I'm in Pittsburgh right now. I'm headed towards West Virginia. I got to be up at six to train one of our new agents. And I got to go all in tomorrow all in for them to launch their business, to launch their territory. And that is a choice and that is a sacrifice, but I am glad to do it.